Eh, do you know? Eh, do you know when this course end? I don't know. Uh, I I am asked the, the Mr. Davis. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> I have a question. Oh, Mr. Can you hear me? Mr. Mr. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mister, do you know when this course ends? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, hear you. Okay, yes. great. Okay, good. How are you? Fine. Fine. Mr. Eduardo has a question. What happened, Eduardo? How are you? I have a question. And do you know when this course ends? Uh, yes, let me see. I will let you know right now. It should be 16 classes, right? So today's our class number 12. Today is Wednesday. Well, yeah, 12. So tomorrow's our class 13. So, so it's going to end in next week. On Tuesday? Yes. Yes. So... So end 17 on 17. Yes. Okay, 17. How are you, Lando? How's your how's your COVID? Is 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 getting over, but you know what? I feel kind of dizzy. I walk kind of slow and I get tired, but but I feel better. For example, I feel better than yesterday. It's disappearing. That's good, man. Yeah, it's good right? because it's it's a very bad 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 sickness. Yeah, it is. All right. What's uh, up, Gio? Uh, uh, you uh, or, or already got it, isn't it? Good evening. Yeah, I How got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I already got it. So what you, about you? You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. I got every every symptom except my next step was going to the hospital in an ambulance, but I oh, stopped. Okay. There. Yeah. All right, thanks. but I remember the pain, the body pain that was horrible. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, what about you, Gio or, or Ricardo? Have you guys gotten COVID yet? No, uh, yeah, no, no. Okay, good. What about your? Uh... I, I, I recommend you, Giovanni, to get COVID, so take care. <laughs> Wait, Maybe you recommend them or you don't recommend them? No, I don't recommend you. <laughs> recommend what? Sorry. No, no, I don't recommend you to get to get infected of, of COVID. <laughs> it's not good. I don't think so because uh, maybe the adamantium had a lot to do with that. <laughs> the what? <laughs> adamantium. <laughs> oh. what, what was that? Spinous? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the, the, the Logan, have you seen X Men? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. It's, 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 it's the species. About the it's the skeleton of, from Logan. That's, that's from the movie. <laughs> the X Men. <laughs> yeah. Hey, ha have you seen um, Suicide Squad? Yeah. Part two? Uh, part two. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me see. Which, which is the part two? It, it just came out like this week, I think. Uh, no, I, I didn't see it yet. No, not yet. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I saw it. I saw it a couple of days ago. I saw it and eh, it wasn't uh, that good. Carlos de Leon, how are you, sir? 
I'm doing great. Thank you. What about you? All right. How was your vacation? It was nice. I mean, I would prefer to last <laughs> a couple of extra days, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't like vacations. Really? Why? Not when you're married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, get, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, it's like they <laughs> use you. It's like, oh, tomorrow we're going to do this and that. It's like they plan for you. Yeah, it was more fun in, in the past. Yeah, when you were single. <laughs> yeah. It was so fun, but not, not anymore. So if you're single, enjoy it, man. <laughs> or even if you have a girlfriend, enjoy it. But wait till you're married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. vacation from vacations yeah that's why maybe that's why ricardo likes to work a lot yeah <laughs> and you see him he's very happy always always, he's always. <laughs> yes. I, I i'm trying to 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 to, to get a better situation every day i always happy I, only, I, I always enjoy the life. Yeah. Yeah. But in my work, what is it? <laughs> Especially in my work. But, uh, Especially in my work. Especially in my work when you are not at home. Yes. Yeah, this is true. It is what. Oh, wait, Carlos, are you married? Oh, yeah, I'm married. All right, but cool. it is not so hard to be honest. No, it's not. It's not. What what I think the problem is is like, for example, my wife, her family is very united. And my family, they just don't care. You know, it's like we see each other like, hey, what's up? What's up? Okay. <laughs> but my family, my wife's family, and I, and I admire that. I like that. But you're but alive. You, no, I like it because I really like my in-laws. They're very nice people. I really love them. But um, <laughs> sometimes it's too much. I mean, I I don't have to be there, you know, for the mm -hmm. Sunday dinner and and, and that. Sometimes, I, for example, the days off, Saturday and Sundays, we go to their house, and sometimes I just want to be in my house. Doing nothing. So now yeah. I'm making that. I'm what I. But you know what I'm doing now, is I'm inventing things like um, I now I am a painter, a carpenter, a lot of things. <laughs> so now I tell my wife, you know what? On Saturday I'm gonna paint the wall. Again. <laughs> Again, yeah. So when she when she goes to, um, um, do you want to go to my father's house? No, I have to paint the wall. So cool. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent decision you're taking. Yep. And then she goes with my son. Yeah, exactly. So I put full volume on my radio and boom, start painting. It's cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that, that, that's good. Sometimes it's good to, to be alone. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I like to be alone sometimes. You know what I don't like? I don't like silence. I don't, yeah, it, it's ironic because I think in silence you hear everything. Uh -huh. you, never, you start hearing things. <laughs> Let me see. Janita's walking. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Finally, we see her again. What's up, Janita? How are you? What happened? You crashed again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sick. I have a headache. I, I have migraines. Migraines. Oh. When did that start? Today. But it is it still, I have some freezing. You have some what? Five years or six years. Oh my God. Migraines for, for five, five years. Five days or. or no, Wait, no. <laughs> five days or five or six days. Oh my God! What do you take? Yeah, 
I take a combination of, uh, I want to say this in Spanish, um, ercotamina con cafeína, paracetamol, codeína, y... Jesus. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that. And cannabis. And <laughs> <In> cannabis. <laughs> Mary Jane. Yes, it's very... A lot of medicine. And like a good cocktail. <laughs> and when you take that, do you go to sleep? Like, boom, you, do you get knocked out? No. No, I can sleep. I have to take a, 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 another pill that ah. is called... Um, I, yes, I, I think, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, Flunaricina or amitriptylina. Oh man, you take a whole bunch of, you take a cocktail. Yeah, everybody. Is, is <laughs> take notes, guys. Yeah. Have you ever been addicted to any medicine? No, no. I only drink that when I have the crisis. Um, you know, one time I had a very bad experience. I fell from a roof and I dislocated my, my last two discs in the bottom. It was very dangerous. I was very, very close to being uh, handicapped in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I don't know how, how I landed, but the thing was that even today, I mean, it still bothers me. And that's when I started getting fat because I, you stop doing exercise. Unfortunately, everything you do moves on those discs. So then the doctor told me, you, you have to stop playing sports. You have to stop running. You have to stop this. And if you're going to do exercise, only cardio or swimming. But we don't have access to swimming in Salvador, not that much. You know, if I, if I want to go swimming, I have to go to a different city. Or maybe it's an excuse, but I started getting fat. But what happened was that um, I remember I was taking, the pain was very, very bad. And I was taking this med this pills, they were called v Vioxx. And it was amazing because uh, yeah, but they got discontinued because yeah. they caused heart attacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. They were so, so, so strong that the doctor told me only to take one fourth of a pill. Mm -hmm. I used to take the complete pill because the pain was so bad. And then I liked the feeling because the whole day I was like, oh. I yeah, I was like uncom <laughs> comfortably numb. Com comfortably numb. Yeah. Yes, and then you know, and then I I was like that for like six months until like really I was getting addicted to them, and then I don't know if it was more the 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 feeling I like like, oh. and then they discontinued because then they were too strong and they started causing heart attacks. <laughs> you know, and I was taking two a day, two or three. I was just taking them. So um, I, I understand that medicine part. That's why I understand like when like, you see rock stars that they take sleeping pills and they just die. Maybe they exaggerate too many pills. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so be careful. Don't take too many pills. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jose and Caddy, everyone's here then. All right. So today class, is it true there was an, a tremor yesterday? Uh, yes. What time? What, two and a half. Did you feel it? Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't feel anything. Oh, okay. Do you know what a tremor is? Not an earthquake, a tremor. Really? What, what, what's what the time? different? What's the difference between the things? Uh, earthquake is terremoto. It's big. Yeah. Okay. And tremor is temblor. Uh, it's, it's a slow. Yeah, it's a small one. Small. Okay. Okay. I think I think it's considered an earthquake after four point something. In the Richard yeah. scale. I think it's considered four. An earthquake, but before that, it's a tremor. 
I have been in all the earthquakes you can imagine. <laughs> yes. I was in 85 in Mexico. I was 86 here, 89 in San Francisco. That was the, wow. that, that was the strongest one I have been in San Francisco. I remember that one. That one was long. It was like seven point something, but it was yeah. very long. And um, do you know there are three types of earthquakes, right? For example, I remember this because we studied this. There is one that is like this. And I think that's the best one because that doesn't really do anything. There's one that is up and down. And then there's one that is the most dangerous one is the S. That's the most okay. destructive one. For example, the one that was here in El Salvador in 2001, I think it was the one that was like this. I mean, it was destructive, but it could have been worse. If it would have been the S, it's called S-Wave. Hey, Jordana is here. How, how is that taco, Jordana? Is it hot, cool? No, it's it's warm. Really? Yes, oh, okay. it's warm. Oh, okay. Yes. At this time, do people use sweaters? Uh, like local people? No, they don't. They don't? Oh, okay. No, but sometimes I do. <laughs> okay. You should go to San Miguel. People wear sweat. Yes or no, Ricardo? Mm. That like yes. at, at seven in the morning, people use sweaters. Terrible. <laughs> yes. When I, when, I, when I came to San Salvador, we had used uh, <laughs> and the first time we can we, you can wear a, a sweater. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I remember that because it was very early in the morning, like at six six thirty. I used to go outside. And it was the only time of the day that it was not hot. It was not cold. It was yes. it was like seven in the morning here. You know, it was like cool. And I remember I saw like in the Roosevelt, you know, people yes. behind the pickups, everybody with sweaters because that was to them that was cold. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. It was the only time of the day that was cold. Oh, like at this time. It's 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 not hot. It's why well, it is hot, but for yes, for us hot. for a native San Miguel San Miguelian, it's like <laughs> ponete sweater. <laughs> because because of the sereno. Yes, because of the sereno. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have readings. Oh, I, I saw a lot of um, I saw a lot of tests right now. Uh, text messages. Do, do, do. See, I got off work, but I was driving when they were landing. So, oh my God, did you see the poor people that sell bootleg? Do you know what is bootleg? No. Bud Light the beer. <laughs> Bud Light. <laughs> no bootleg. Bootleg is this. Look. Ah, uh, bootleg. Uh, yeah. I was, I was just say bad light. <laughs> no, no, not bad light. Bootleg. <laughs> no. Bootleg. No. That's the word for pirateado. Bootleg. Bootleg. Yeah, like um, bootleg. Like if you want a Barcelona shirt, you go to Estadio Cucatlán or El Centro, right? They have the bootleg. If you want the original one, you go to what, Simon. Yeah. So do you understand? And, and it comes from bootleg. Ironicamente yeah. viene de, de los piratas. Because some pirates, they used to have a boot. Yeah. A leg. Remember that they didn't have a leg, so they used to have a boot. And inside yeah. that boot is where they would put the contraband, you know, like tobacco, um, so they wouldn't pay taxes. 
So it makes sense in Spanish, pirateado, because that's what pirates mm -hmm. used to do. When they used to go to a, a, a new city or something, they used to put everything in their boot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I was, I was talking about bootleg. I was, because, you know, Messi went to um, Paris Saint-Germain, right? And there yeah. were many shirts in the Salvador for sale with Paris Saint-Germain, Messi, number 10. Number it, 10. <laughs> yes, number and he's going to 10. use number 30. Yeah, he <laughs> 30. You see the reaction like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, but that's what you get for doing illegal things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do you see my screen? Yes. 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 All right, it says the reading, right? Let me see, dear Ted. On and on and on. Do, 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 do. Uh, do your mouse I, have a scroll button? Yeah, but you know what? It doesn't let me. Let me see if I if I do this. You can use control plus the scroll button and for zoom, zooming. Okay, let me do it. Let me try control. Oh, there you That's go. Good. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. That's a specialist from InfoCentro. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, wait. So, the hell? Stay. Okay, dear Ted. Okay, it says, dear Ted, I hope you are well. My exams start next week, so I haven't had time to keep in touch. The last time you wrote, you said you had started doing shows at the comedy club. That's great. I remember how you always used to make us laugh until we cried. I'm glad you're finally able to show off your talents. School is okay. Some of my classes are great and some are awful. My astronomy class, class should be interesting. But the professor somehow found a way to make it boring. But I love my literature class. My professor is passionate about the books we read. And she really knows how to keep us interested. I'd, be, I'd better get back to studying. But please, write again soon. Tell everyone hello for me. And I'll try to be better about staying in touch. Your friend, Gordy. Questions? Do you have any questions about a, a, a meaning or an expression? Oh, no. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, the word right. Is this in the first paragraph, the second, or the third? In the, the first paragraph. Yeah. Well, that's great. The, the, the third one. That was um, worse. Until we the cried. third sentence. Until, until we, we cry. Um, have you ever laughed so hard that you start crying? Yeah, so many times. Yes, right. There's an expression. Um, where, where, where's chat? CMAO. That's cry my ass off. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's like an expression. A -L -M -I -A -O. Okay. Yes, M I A O, yes. Mm -hmm. So when you, you yeah, mm -hmm. we laughed so hard, we cried. You know, I remember in what movie I really laughed so hard, I cried. But I actually saw it in the movie theater that time. I mean, now I watch it and it's still funny. But I actually saw it in the movie theaters. Um, something about Mary. Mm -hmm. Loco por Mary. Mm -hmm. That movie was yeah. funny, man. I, yeah, I was crying. Mm. I really enjoyed watching that movie or Super Bad. Super Bad was funny too. 
Okay, um, there's one thing here that I'm, I don't think is correct. It's the last sentence. It says, tell everyone hello from me. Everyone, hello. I would actually say, say hello to everyone for me. Do you know what is the difference between say and tell? Oh. Um, tell, and you tell someone, and most of the time it's used with person. I mean, tell me, tell them, tell him, but say, you can use it like in general. She said, they say, it's like, this, this, and that. It sounds like an imperative, tell everyone. And it's part of the reporter speech. Okay, all right, yes, it's true. So actually, yes. So if you want to make it like a little bit easier, you say something. And tell is you tell somebody something. Somebody say, yeah, someone. Mm -hmm. So you say something, say, say hi, hi. Mm -hmm. Say hi okay. to everyone for me. Mm -hmm. And tell is directly. So Thank tell them, contar, contame, tell me, tell me, tell me. Que te dijo? How was your date yesterday? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah. yeah. So say it, hello from or for. Say hi to everyone for me. For, but why for? For me. Say hi to everyone from me. From me. Or for me. So do it for me because I'm not there. So it's like I'm asking you a favor. Can you do that for me? Yes. Okay. Say hi to everybody for me. De mi parte, pues. Yeah. Your friend Gordy. You know, I like how in English you make a, a letter so simple, but interesting. <laughs> because this letter is very simple. He talks about one or two teachers. I'm happy for you. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I have to go. In Spanish, we don't do that. <laughs> ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te va? ¿Cómo trata la vida? ¿Y tu mamá? <laughs> that, that's all we, we do. All right, so let me see. Let's go back to Ted is a talented comedian, yes or no? True. Yeah. True. True. Yes, um, Ted is a talented comedian. Yeah, true. Gordy enjoys his astronomy class. False. Uh, false. False. I love that. I love that expression. How he said about his teacher that somehow he found a way to make it boring. <laughs> yeah, it's like I like that expression. Like astronomy is always fun. It's always fun, but somehow he found a way to make it boring. Oh, did I tell you that I tattooed my complete arm? No. Look. Ah. Yeah. Oh my God. That's fake. Really? <laughs> That's fake. fake. That's fake. <laughs> <Not fake. laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I want to. I want to be cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still can't believe Gio doesn't have a tattoo, man. He does? No, <laughs> he don't. doesn't. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, man, you should like some horns here, like. <laughs> Remember, there's a new. <laughs> I saw this meme. Un meme, a meme. It says, "Never judge a person by his tattoos." He said, "Una foto de un marero like this, you know." Oh. Wow. And, and it says, well, the, the picture said, never, so, some of the people I know with tattoos are the nicest people. And then there's this Marero. 
with 18 and todo. And like, except Julio, he will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it said, it said like, some of the nicest people I know, you, you will know have tattoos and they're very nice people. Except Julio, he will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> he will. Okay, number three, it says, Gordy doesn't enjoy literature class. False. 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 Can you yeah, imagine false. in in the in another parts of the world you can actually study the university? There's a career about reading books. That could be great. Yeah. Imagine here. What is your major? Eh, licenciado en literatura. Like, so you read books. Oh my wow. You're poor. <laughs> Mira, mejor vaya a un call center. Gordy doesn't like his literature professor? False. 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 Gordy doesn't plan to stay in touch with friends from home. False. 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 Okay, let's read the second part. Yeah, you see. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> Dear Madam, last week I was shopping in your store with a friend and your salesperson, Roberta, refused to help us. I don't understand why she was so rude to us. I was insulted, but I was also baffled. There were other customers in the store and she was nice and helpful to them, but she ignored us. When she finally spoke to us, she seemed irritated. My friend wanted to buy a dress, but after waiting for 30 minutes to be helped, we left. Why your salesperson chose to be rude to us and not to others is a mystery to me. I love your store, but my concern is whether I'll be treated disrespectfully if I shop there again, sincerely, Jane Morris. Can you imagine you writing to a store like this here? What would I say? Mira, I buy it, but I don't know. No, I'm joking. Okay, let's see. Have you ever had that issue? Have you ever been a bad client? No. No. No, not a bad client. Maybe um, demanding. No, no, maybe not demanding. Uh, difficult. <laughs> Annoying. No, but one time, well, no, I one time I was, I, I really got angry with, with the people at the store because um, I was buying a cake and I remember it was Santa Eduviges or Santa, it was a bakery. The thing is that when I, when I was buying the cake and then um, the lady, she was fighting with her coworker because they changed the dates. I don't know, the day off on Saturday. And she was telling me and she was telling her, you know, you're a you're a big son of a bitch. You know, I want I need it Saturday. And they started fighting. And I was like, OK, um, hello, I need to pay my cake. And then, and then the other lady started like responding to her. Wow, you know, if you don't like it, then don't have sex with the manager, et cetera. And they started like fighting between them. And um, and then she just turns around and she says, what do you want? But like very angry with me. And I exploded, I really got angry. And um, I, I remember that, uh, I wrote to them in, 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 in Facebook because, you know, I don't care if they were fighting. I mean, pobrecita, porque she actually did ask for her day off. <laughs> and I guess something happened, but um, I really didn't like how she treated me. Has, has something like that ever happened to you? Oh, one time I was going to... Where's Rosa Maria? She's not here today. I was going to get into a fight with a concierge in a hotel. Oh my God. 
No, I was going, but really, I wanted to punch the manager because he was very rude. My uncle was staying, and he had a terrible stay in the, in the Sheraton. It's the one by World Trade Center. No, kids, Sheraton, right? No, that's Crown. The Crown Plaza. Mm -hmm. but and in that time, I guess it was. It depends the time. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. five years ago. No. Crown Plaza, right? It was Crown, yeah. Yeah. Crown. yeah. yeah. So what, what happened was that my uncle was staying there and I guess there, the, when I went to visit them, the internet was not working and they paid for a Wi-Fi room. The air conditioning was not working and they were angry because there was a party all night the day before and then the rooms that they, were, they had was next to the pool. So when I went to visit my, my uncle, he says, hey, can we go speak with the manager? It's my life, you know, I'm having a terrible experience. Oh, what, what was the worst part is that the laundry ruined the clothes. The laundry was bad too, the, the washer. They, they, they had ordered uh, dry cleaning or washing service or something. So my uncle's a very calm person and he, he spoke with the manager and he said, yes, how can I help you? And he says, look, I'm having, I'm, I'm continue, I'm continuing to have bad moments in this hotel. First, the, the coffee maker broke. Then the, um, the air conditioning doesn't work. If I need Wi-Fi, I have to come to the lobby and I'm paying for a Wi-Fi room. And yesterday there was a party all day in front of my room all night. You know, and you know what was the response of the manager? What? He says, have you considered getting a suite? So he wanted to sell him a better room. God. And I said, excuse me, that's your answer? As a manager, that's your answer? So here you have a, a client complaining about the bad service, and you're pretty much telling them, oh, if you want a better service, pay the more, most expensive one. And he said, yes, sir. That's what I'm saying exactly. And I said, don't what? be sarcastic with me or I will break your teeth right now. <laughs> and, you know, my uncle started like, hey, calm down, calm down. Me, yeah, yeah. And, the man, and the man, he was just like, I don't care. Yeah. But yeah. I have lost my job if I were that manager. Anywhere. I think anyone would have. It was... And I said, really, as a manager, because I know to be a manager there in a hotel, you really have to go to a lot of trainings, a lot. And, right. You know, I don't know, but it, but it's logic, common sense. It's the last thing you have to say. Like, have you considered upgrading, getting a, a more expensive room? Oh, my God. Yeah. Idiot. So let's see what's the mystery here. So. Jane went shopping by herself. False. False. Roberta was rude to everyone in the store. False. False. Roberta wanted to buy a dress. False. Jane usually likes the store. False. True. True. Oh, but I remember that day something good happened to me. We went to buy pollo campero with my, with my um uncle, and it was like for five people. But I remember like we went to the drive-through and they gave me a very big bag. And I was man, this bag is big. But we had about like ten pieces, and you know, so we just put it. And I imagine the dijo, maybe everything is in one bag. Oh my God, when we got to the hotel, it was like 25 pieces of chicken. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So we were actually like giving away chicken. Yeah. But that wasn't very good because I imagine the, the poor people that gave me that, they had to pay for that. Okay, listen, the next, we're in the last lesson. It says by the end of this lesson, part, well, second to last, participants will be able to. Use present unreal conditionals with unless, only if, and even if. 
So present unreal condition. Check this out. This is going to be interesting. Let's listen to this. Share sound. Hi, we're about to talk about hear? present and real conditionals. Yes. Yeah. yes. Only yeah. if and even if. Get ready. Present and real conditional with unless, only if, and even if. Unless clauses include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continued lying about it. Only if clauses stress the condition for the result. I would keep it a secret only if I liked my coworker. Even if clauses are followed by unexpected results. Even if I were really broke, I would return the extra money to the bank. The likelihood of an event in the main clause happening is expressed by the conjunctions unless, only if, even if. These conjunctions are used in the conditional clause. If shows the most likelihood. Example. I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. Meaning, if I really needed the money, I would take it. Let's take a look to another example. I would take the money only if I really needed it. Meaning, I would take the money only under these particular circumstances. For example, not knowing who had dropped it. And the last example. I wouldn't take the money even if I really needed it, meaning I wouldn't take the money for any reason. Read the following situations. If I really needed the money, I would take it. I wouldn't take the money. Hold on. So this is a good explanation. Ex Unless it says, I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. So what is unless? A menos que. A menos que. A menos que. So it's, oh, there's, a, there's a condition, a condition unless I yeah. really needed it. Yes? You know, can you give me another example of using unless? When you wouldn't eat something unless you are really hungry. Yes. I wouldn't eat that unless I am very, very hungry. So, yeah, that's a good example there. So, unless I really needed it. So, I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. So, I lo dice, the necessity. Example, I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. Meaning, if I really needed the money, I would take it. I wouldn't ask you for a favor unless I really needed it. You know, like when you ask your mother for money, then mm -hmm. you know she's going to tell you, again, you never fix your life. You are this, blah, 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 blah. And you're, oh, God, you know, yeah. Oh, God, I'm so disappointed in you, blah, blah. But, man, she's my last resort. And then you tell her, look, Mom, I wouldn't ask you for money unless I really needed it. So by me asking you, Mother, is because I have no one else to ask. And it's funny because, you know, that's how all mothers are, I think. Yevanes, again. <laughs> no, I never oh, asked. Yes. Yeah, when I started working, I stopped. I stopped. Yeah. How much do you want? Yeah. And when you pay her back, how much do you need time? it? No. <laughs> are you sure? No, I'm okay. Oh. Huh. And then I, I should have, I should have said yes. I needed it. It's a good anyway. <laughs> another example. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
All right. So Dex says, I would take the, mo the, mo the money only if I really needed it. I would take the money only if you're giving a condition here, pretty much. Yes. I would go to the party only if you promise me that you will not drink because you will be the designated driver. Yes. Can you give me another example? Only if you, 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 when you say only if, I lo dice, only if you're actually saying um, a condition. Yeah. Por ejemplo, escupí para arriba. I would stop following Barcelona only if, if Messi leaves. Oops. <laughs> And he did. Oh. Yeah. I would put on a Alianza t-shirt only if my life depended on it. <laughs> so that's the only that's the only reason why I would wear a, a, an Alianza t-shirt. No, a Real Madrid t-shirt. Oh. Yes. Okay, um, I would steal money. Only if no, I want to steal money. <laughs> Only if I needed to pay a, a, a last minute operation. No, I'm joking. But anyways, remember, only if is when you're giving a condition. Yes. Like, um, imagine, Giovanni, imagine you are going through hard times. Mm -hmm. I say, here, Giovanni, take $100. You say, no, no, take it. And you're, no, no, man, take it. Okay, I will take it only if you accept that I pay you back. Mm -hmm. That's how you use only if, when you use a condition. A particular condition. Yes. I would take the money only if I really needed it. Meaning, I would take the money only under these particular circumstances. For example, not knowing who had dropped it. I would go to a Cheyenne concert with my wife only if I did something really, really bad. <laughs> that, that's the only... <laughs> But you know how there are some good husbands? Oh, my esposo is lindo. He goes with me to the concerts. Hell no. I will never go to those concerts. Only if I did something really bad and say, yes, baby, I will go with you to the Cheyenne concert. Yeah, you know, I, I would sing with you too, you know. Provoca <laughs> me. Yeah. Hey, I went to that Hona concert. Do you like Arjona? No, I don't, but uh, my uncle that day. <laughs> you have but, to. <laughs> you know, I don't like him, but I, I don't dislike him. There are some cool, I mean, I he, he in my opinion, he's he's an artist. Maybe I don't like his music, but he is an artist. I mean, the man writes, mm -hmm. sings. He has some. He, bad he can't sing. <laughs> Yeah, I like that song he, he sings with Paquita La de Barrio, though. That's a cool song. <laughs> he made a, a, a ranchera song, right? Yeah. I like that one. No, what happened was that my uncle, um, he gave us, like, VIP tickets to their Hana concert. Okay. The bad part was that he gave them to me in front of my wife. Uh, so, um, if he had given them to me, I would have sold them. Like, hey, hey, Sharona tickets, VIP. But no, so my wife is, hey, vamos a ir, vamos a ir. Como me safo now? But you know, actually, the concert was not that bad. It was okay. It was good. A lot of women. I think, I think there were only like 5% men. Yeah, it was cool. All right, so, oh, you know who I saw 
Oh, no, that was the Mark Anthony concert. I, I went to the Mark Anthony concert. But Mark Anthony, I like. I saw Nurka. She was like right in front of us. She was in, in the concert. That woman is extravagant. Okay, and let's the see. Last example. I wouldn't take the money even if I really needed it. Meaning I wouldn't take the money for any reason. Okay, so even if it's for something negative, it's saying under any circumstances. Jordana, if your husband is unfaithful to you, would you forgive him? No, I wouldn't. Nothing. You would never forgive him. What about if your I... husband promises you that he will go to therapy? Oh my God, you know, probably I might forgive him, but I will, I will get the divorce. That's what I will do. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to go at. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> so you wouldn't, you wouldn't go back with him. No. Even if he promises you that he will be, um, he will go to therapy, to a psychologist, Maybe. to church. So can you can you give me that complete? I wouldn't. I wouldn't forgive him even if he promised me the stars. Okay, good. That's it. You see, even if that's saying under any circumstances. Right. Would you go back with your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend class? No way. No way. Maybe for a couple of no hours. <laughs> for a couple of hours. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, whatever it takes, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, you know, some people say like, oh my God, what was I thinking? You know, I wouldn't go back with that person, even if. Invite to a class. I'm sorry? Invite to a class, not really. Huh? What? I didn't hear you. Invite to a class. You are in class, but not the only, not the. No, I'm saying, did you did you ever have yeah, a bad yeah. experience with an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend? You know, and, and you know how people say, I wouldn't go back with that person, even if she mm -hmm. banged me or, or something. Like in this case, Jordana, she says that if her husband is unfaithful to her, she wouldn't get back with him. So I, I contra, I contra uh, offered her something. What about if he says he will go to therapy and he will tattoo your name on his face? on his face and etc <laughs> and she said i wouldn't i wouldn't get back with him even if he promised me the stars yeah. but you will i know you would <laughs> I know you. for the children for children but <laughs> no i don't think so <laughs> no i'm joking no, i know that that's 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 something very difficult yeah. Yes. But do you understand when to use even if? That is under any circumstances. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Giovanni, would you vote? Would you vote for Sanchez Seren for president? <laughs> at this moment? Not at all. What if he pays you $5,000 just for the vote? No. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Five thousand dollars? Yeah, I'll vote for you. No, so, okay, so say no using even if. Even if he offers me twenty-five thousand, maybe. But <laughs> even if, nah. Oh man, twenty-five thousand bolivares. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like five dollars. <laughs> no, it's it's less. It's like fifteen cents. Three dollars. <laughs> yeah. Even if so, that's that's yeah. um that's how you use even if. Do you have any questions? That is a very common expression, man. I wouldn't go there even if you pay me. Yeah. Example, Carlos, you're married, right? Where do you live? 
Um, I live in uh, Flor Blanca. Oh yeah, okay, you live in Flor Blanca. Uh, Caddy, where do you live? Laico. Near from Universidad El Salvador. Near to Universidad El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Near to. All right. Eduardo, where do you live? In Antiguo Jutlán. Right. Nobody here lives in Apopa or Soyapango? No. Because um, mm -hmm. I have heard about the situations. I don't know. I, I Personally, I have never been in this situation, but I hear that According to your Dewey, you cannot go in certain places because they ask you for a Dewey, right? Yes. Yes, That's what I have. I heard that. Yeah, I heard it's that. I mean, but it, I'm sorry, but it is not for the whole, for uh, the every people. I mean, we are kind of big ones, you know. But uh, the, the the these guys are looking for the youngest person. Oh, okay, okay. No, so we're not big ones. We're older. Mm -hmm. Older, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I always wonder about that. You know, like, really, man? They ask me, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Yeah, I heard about that. So, my, well, anyways, my question is, would you would you have a girlfriend if she lives in a enemy territory? Mm. No. No. I heard cases in my job that man, I have a girlfriend, but I can't, I can't visit her. Like, we have to meet in Metro Centro, and that really sucks because I can't take her home. You know, I'm like, dude, that's so cool, man. You don't have, you have an excuse not to. Mm. Not mentiras. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I heard that expression a while ago. Because there was like this pretty girl, and I remember this guy. He told my friend, dude, I wouldn't go out with that girl. Even if she, if she begged me, aunque me lo rogara, well, yeah, why? Because she lives in no sé qué, Los Santos. And so I live in, in Ilopango, no sé dónde. So if I go there, they'll kill me. Oh, okay. I thought he was actually talking bad about the girl, but no, he was talking about where the girl lived. <laughs> yeah so that's the even if under any circumstances and I told them you're a loser if she's that pretty I would go anyway I don't care you know when you're young you're stupid yeah. <laughs> that's right <laughs> all right let me see let me see let me see So it says knowledge check. Let's do this real quick. It says instructions. Read the four sentences aloud. Imagine Sam gets an invitation. Which sentence? Which sentences mean that Sam will go? So which ones actually mean that he will go? A, Sam would go if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited. Sam would go only if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. Yeah. A, B, C. A, B, C. All right. A, B, C. Who works here in sales? Nobody works in sales? I do. Nope. That's a terminology for sales, ABC. Always be closing. <laughs> I didn't know it. Yeah. I will send, I will send a, um, there's this, do you know Alec Baldwin? Yeah. There's a movie, but I will send you that scene that I think everybody who works in sales should watch that scene. It's about a movie that he sells insurance and he he's very bad to, to the employees, but he teaches them how to how to sell. So me best mejor que Wolf of Wall Street and Alec Baldwin. And he was very young. 
And then he was saying, look at my watch, look at my watch. This watch cost me $50,000. How much did you make last year? 30,000? You know, so my watch is more than your life, but it's, wow. it's like no, no. But it's like Man. it's amazing. It's amazing acting because it's, because somebody told him, "Who do you think you are?" And he says, "Do you see my watch? My watch cost me, I don't know, thirty thousand dollars. How much did you make last year? Do you want to see my car?" <laughs> and he starts telling them, you know, about the abilities of selling. It's good. I, I will send you that link. <laughs> he, of course, he was very offensive. But when, if you're in sales, they can ask, como, wow, man. It's like, it's como like on that Rocky before training, dun, 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 dun. So when you watch that, like, oh, man, let's go sell. <laughs> okay, next it says, which sentence means that Sam won't go? No. Letter D. 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 D as in Delta? Yes. Yeah. Yes and Delta. Oh, that's another thing I would actually recommend you try to learn the phonetical alphabet. Alpha Rap. I know it. Charlie Delta Echo. A is yeah. an apple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like usually gringos, they, they do that. Hi, what's your name? Oh, my name is David Baltrans, the, uh, you know, Baltrans, B A L T R O N S. And um, I have a problem, and they just. They start talking and talking. You're like, what? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and excuse me, is that BS and boy or CS and Charlie? AS and alpha? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, let's submit. I think we got them all right. It's really useful. It is. It is. It's very useful. Do you guys deal with uh, English speakers? Where do you work, Carlos? Um, I work from a company, it's an American company called Covenant. Uh, we sell uh, software for cybersecurity. Covenant, I heard about that. Is it a call center? No, no, it's, um, it's a company. We sell um, service as a software, solutions, oh, okay. apps. Is that inside? Uh, and, and your clients are Salvadorians or American? We are open market in El Salvador, but of course we have uh, uh, clients in the United States. Oh, very the interesting. company is, is from the United States. Yep. Oh, okay, interesting. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's useful for you to know the phonetical alphabet. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, tomorrow... Today's Wednesday, right? No, today's Tuesday, correct? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, oh, yeah, Tuesday. then definitely. Look, I would like to finish everything by um, by Friday. So Monday and Tuesday, we just forget about the platform and we'll just have conversations. We're going to break in rooms. We're going to have a show and tell. Do you know what a show and tell? <laughs> okay, yeah. I can yeah, sing, we okay? No, 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 it's not like, well, I mean, anything, you know, show and tell. You have to show us something and tell us about it. Okay. Anything, anything. I mean, something you're good at. Okay. Like, uh, like I don't know, you know, something, it could be something about, I don't know, making a pupusa. Look, okay, guys, this is a pupusa and this is, por eso le dice palabra, show and tell. Oh, I heard talent, I'm sorry. Oh no no no! <laughs> yeah, show show and tell. But you you know, oh, I remember I remember one time uh, I was in I was in San Miguel, por cierto, and in, uh, in in the classroom there was a police officer, but he was a uh, I don't know he was high rank, but era de los he was big man. He was like John Cena. <laughs> no, era la humo. Yes, he was like something humo, right? And it was show and tell. So he showed the class how to hit people. Wow. <laughs> and uh, stupid me, I volunteered for <laughs> I will be the dummy. And then, <laughs> wow. Yeah, he tells me everything, everything is in, in, in this finger. Like 
he did this. He says, look, when you want to surprise somebody, hit, hit him in the ribs. I see what, and he hit me like, oh, and he <laughs> took my breath out, like just by doing that. But it was so amazing because he, he didn't move. He was just, he, he almost could kill me with his fingers. <laughs> and then I told him, how do you arrest people? Like, let's say if I'm fighting you. Oh, and he says, okay, you put yourself in this position. And when somebody swings at you, he tells me, just move and pull their arm. And, you know, and then, okay, okay, but don't, <laughs> don't hit me. And it's amazing. Or oh, he says, if, if you want to grab somebody, instead of punching him, look for his hand. Get his hand and get this finger. If you get this finger, you can twist it. And he showed us all the tricks. It was so cool, man. Everybody was like, oh, my God. But the next day, man, my body hurt because <laughs> he, I, I, was, I was the guinea pig. Yo fui el conejito de India. ¿Cómo es? Conejito de India. Yeah, but that was the show and tell. So he says, okay, class, look, so when you're fighting with somebody who's going to punch you, you do two things. No, the worst, don't punch him. No, wait for him to throw the punch, move back and pull the arm. The arm he's punching you with, pull it. Because he's going with such a force that you just pull him more, ah, and he goes to the floor. And it's so true. You make out, oh my God, that's true. Or he says, or if you want, pretend you're going to hit him, but try to get his hand. If you get his hand, get his thumb. If you get his thumb, twist it, break it, whatever. But uh, yeah. And I tell him, what about you when you fight Mareros? What do they do? He says, oh, no, Mareros, when they see us, they immediately surrender. And they say, <laughs> no estoy poniendo obsesión, ob obsesión. They know. So they immediately surrender. Hmm. So that's show and tell. So uh, we'll do that. So you got to think about something you're going to show us. It sounds hey. great. Like maybe um, maybe Giovanni can show us how to play, uh, I don't know, a string of a guitar. Like, okay, look, dun, dun, or baby shark and guitar, maybe. I don't have my guitars this week. But you play every instrument. You play piano, flute, accordion. Yeah, but I don't have any. Oh man, only in my mind. Let's download the virtual so application. Everybody, we're gonna be in a, in a guitar. Okay. <laughs> All right, class. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Hey, yeah. See you guys. Bye -bye. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. Be safe.